you so much for coming back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Wreck-It Ralph. And as you guys can tell from the thumbnail and the title, I am joined here in this video by my buddy Trav Tries. A big thanks for him to being here in this video with me to talk about Wreck-It Ralph. And it will also be my review for Ralph Breaks the Internet. So we're going to hear from him in just a little bit. But yeah, Wreck-It Ralph, a film that I am ashamed to say I actually just saw for the first time recently. This is a film that is a Disney film. It's animated and it is about video games. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of animated Disney films and a big fan of video games as well. So this movie had pretty much all of the ingredients to be a film that I would definitely be into. And yeah, I just really just kind of just shit the bed on this one, to be honest. I was really, really excited to check it out when I saw the trailers initially. It seemed like something right up my alley. And then I just never saw it in theaters and years went by and it was just one of those movies that I just kind of missed and didn't check out. And I've seen every Disney animated film that's released since. And yeah, I finally decided to check it out when I uh, saw it on Disney Plus. And I had a great time with this movie. This film centers on a character named Ralph, who is the villain of this video game called Fix It Felix, but he doesn't want to be the villain. This character is played by John C. Riley, who does an incredible job playing this character. I had a really, really great time watching him play this character in both movies. I think he brings a lot of heart, a lot of charm to the character, and I really just found his character to be very endearing, very charming, and he had a lot of heart. He's a character who's kind of a bumbling idiot, and he kind of just messes things up, but he wants to be better he wants to be included he doesn't want to be viewed simply as the villain and I thought that that was a really interesting premise right out of the gate this movie takes place inside of an arcade room and I felt like the creative team did such a great job of kind of making this a really creative and fun and clever world you have this arcade that's at the end of the day when all the games are essentially done when no kids are playing it it's kind of like they're clocking out for work and they all go into the uh, the base where they're all plugged in the power extension cord or you know the power base essentially so you have all the games plugged into it and at the end of the day they can all meet up at the very center they can go into each other's games or go into a, a video game bar kind of thing and I thought that was so clever so cool so fun they did a really great job of introducing video game characters that are specific to this film like Ralph or the character of Vanellope who will come in later on in the film and is another huge part of this film and also including video game characters that we all know and love like Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Dr. Eggman and so many others and one scene that I really really love in the film is early on uh, Ralph ends up going to uh, Villains Anonymous, I believe is what it was called. It's essentially like an AA meeting for uh, villains. And in this uh, scenario, you have characters like Bowser from the uh, Mario franchise. And you have other villains from things like Pac-Man, Street Fighter. You even have the character of Kano from Mortal Kombat who's in there. And they have a small reference to his uh, fatality from that franchise where he literally pulls a heart out of the chest of a zombie. Of course, it's a Disney movie, so they kind of, you know, the fact that he's pulling out of a zombie rather than a real person kind of takes away the gory, creepy, element but I just thought it was hilarious that Kano was in this movie and yeah I love those references those connections to video games that I've known and loved and played my entire life and I really really enjoyed the story centered around Ralph at the center of the story is a story of heart charm friendship and, and the story of acceptance which is something I really really enjoyed and acceptance on both sides kind of acceptance um, of yourself and realizing your role in society and how the things that you are good at are not always going to be a negative so I, I really enjoyed that I felt like it's a story of acceptance on both sides where people are able to accept you and you want to be accepted but also accepting yourself and who you are and I really enjoy that message at the center of the story I think this is a film that parents and kids and families alike can just watch and have a really really great time there's a lot to take away from it and at the middle of it all is this really just fun epic adventure with video games and, and cute stuff and action-packed moments and I had a lot of fun with this movie again John C. Riley is just so, so good in this movie. I loved his voice acting with the character of uh, Ralph. And uh, Vanellope is another really great character. I believe she's played by Sarah Silverman, if I'm not mistaken. And she does a great, great job in this film as well. She can be a little over the top with her voice acting, but that's who the character is. And I think that Ralph and her have a great chemistry in the film. They're two completely different characters. And I really, really found that their chemistry and their story together was really what made the film have a lot of heart and a lot of charm. Now, before I give you guys my final thoughts on this movie, let's go ahead and hear what my buddy Trav tries have to say about this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Trav, and I'm back again on Anthony's channel once again. I would like to thank Anthony for inviting me on to be on his channel. It's always a pleasure and always amazing to be on Anthony's channel to do a movie review with the guy, uh, one of my best friends that is across 
the world uh, through the internet, basically. So I really appreciate Anthony for everything that he does. Let me just say right off the bat, Wreck-It Ralph is an amazing movie. And I'm not just going to go on and on with, uh, like, stuff that Anthony's probably already said. Like, he's probably already given you the plot by the time you get to me. I watched this movie with my wife the other night. I actually put it on because of the collab. I told her, hey, I got homework to do from Anthony, and it's a movie. It's on Disney+, Plus. Wreck-It Ralph. And she has seen it before, but she actually has never seen Ralph Breaks the Internet. So that's actually going to be really interesting to watch with her next. But we watched it, but she got locked in by accident. Usually whenever Anthony has me do a movie review with him, it's like I have to eventually, I usually most of the time watch the movie again. Um, and it's been forever since I had seen Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph, I saw... I rented it, like, right whenever it came out on Blu-ray, like, whenever that was, Anthony probably told you by now. But she got sucked into it, and I just love when that magic happens. I watched, like, a random movie with her, and then we just have a really good time watching. It's really, truly an amazing time. And that's really what this movie is, a great time. Now, can you count this as a really successful video game movie? I don't know. I count it as that. I count it as a successful video game movie because it has so many references. Like, it has Bowser in it during the therapy session. It has Sonic the Hedgehog in it very, very briefly. And the best thing about this movie is the heart of the story. The heart, like, and the relatability to it more so than a lot of Disney movies. I mean, a lot of Disney movies do this really well, but this one in particular just really hits home with the idea of, like, a man that has nothing, and he's not, um, being acknowledged, I guess is the word, for what he does. He's the villain of a video game, and his job is to do that, and I just love this universe they've created where, like, video games are actually, like, living, living and breathing, basically, inside of the arcade machines that they're in, and it's just a really, really, like, they really thought it through with this, and all of the just references and everything. There's even this there's even this reference to lag in games. There's a reference to lag because this soldier guy is just like walking into a wall at some point and Ralph's just like, "Hey buddy. Hey, <laughs> it's just it's great stuff." The movie is a love letter to gamers. I am a huge gamer. I love I've been playing video games like pretty much my whole life. So many easter eggs, so many things to notice, so many moments that I kind of had to rewind a couple times because I wanted to pause on a certain screen because there's always something in the background that you're not expecting to see and you see it. And John C. Riley is fantastic. John C. Riley, I've been a fan of since I saw him in Talladega Nights for the first time, which is probably the first movie I saw him in. But yeah, he really just has become one of my favorite actors ever. And for him to voice this big hulking character, Ralph, is just like, he adds so much charm to it. The vo I could not imagine anybody else being that voice now that I've seen it. There's so many characters and everything that I'm not really going to worry about talking about because there there is a few. There is a quite a handful, but they all really play their part. They all are really, really well done. And the movie isn't really even, I don't even think it's two hours. I might be wrong about that, but it's actually, it kind of goes by quick, but it's really, I love when a movie like this, an animation Disney movie can be such a short and sweet experience. I don't know guys, are you fans of Wreck-It Ralph with Ralph Breaks the Internet on the side? Are you a fan of Wreck-It Ralph this movie on its own. It's on Disney Plus. If you need to give it a rewatch, please watch it, guys. Like, your kids are gonna love it. If your kids have never watched uh, Wreck It Ralph before, I was actually talking to my buddy Tyler on Xbox, and he has two kids. He has twins, and that he says that they watch Wreck It Ralph all the time. And I, and while I'm watching it, I'm thinking of it from their eyes, from his little one's eyes, and it's like. Yeah, there would be a lot to love as a kid in this movie. So thank you guys as always so much for watching my segment. I'd like to thank Anthony again for letting me be on this movie review. I'm excited to do more with him. But yeah, go check out Wreck-It Ralph if you haven't yet. If you've never actually seen this movie and you have Disney+, Plus, even if you're a grown adult, even if you're 30s, 40s, 50s, give Wreck-It Ralph a chance. It's really, really just... It's an experience in its own. You can find me on Trap Tries on YouTube. I do food reviews and other types of stuff like that. I've been doing it for quite a little while, and I really enjoy what I do. Take it easy, guys. Trap out. Peace out. As usual, a big thanks to my buddy Trav Tries for being here in this video. You guys can find the link to a channel down below. Again, he will be in my review for Ralph Breaks the Internet. Loved hearing what you have to say, man. And as usual, love having you in these videos. So thank you for coming along. And yeah, I had a really great time with this movie. I don't really know what much more to say. Visually, it is beautifully animated. The voice acting is really, really well done. They do a really great job of keeping the video game aspect and all the little clever ideas of how they bring all these worlds and arcades together in the mix of this really heartfelt story. They keep it creative 
behave, they keep it light, they keep it funny, they keep it emotional. By the end of the film, I found myself emotionally attached. And like I said, this is a film about acceptance, not only acceptance of yourself, but accepting others and, and realizing kind of just what you can bring to society with who you are. You know, not judging somebody for the role that they have in society and not necessarily placing that person solely in that role. And I really, really enjoyed that. I felt like this movie had a lot to say on a message side. Of course, Disney films are really famous for that. I think that this film definitely hits the nail right on the head when it comes to the message. So, so I don't really have too much more to say and I'll go ahead and wrap it up right here. This is a film I highly recommend. Beautifully animated. I think if you're a fan of video games and you're a fan of Disney films, there's so much here. I'm ashamed that it took me this long to watch this movie, but I'm happy that I finally took a chance and checked it out. So yeah, guys, Wreck-It Ralph, I definitely think you guys should check it out. It's got a lot of heart, a lot of charm, and I'm definitely curious what you guys have to say. So hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know. Did you like this movie? Did you not like this movie? Definitely want to hear those thoughts. Comment down below, like I said. Hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos. And as usual, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.